Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new week here on Badger's Life, a series where you guys follow me around all week and I put on the internet for you guys to watch. Uh, this week we're starting off with me and Richard. Hi. And our friend Andy when he gets here. We're off to go see Power Rangers. Because we're one step ahead of the law, man. Oh, don't start singing again. Yeah, I'm a huge Power Rangers fan so I want to go see the new film. Uh, I've loved the series since it's the first begin. He doesn't really like Please. it, and I'm just messed up with his hair because he's such a such a gay guy. Seriously. Okay, he's not gay. He's not gay. I love you. You're not gay. You bye. Yes, my boyfriend isn't gay. Okay, so yeah, um, I really like Power Rangers and I've liked it since the series before um, everything else. So. <laughs> I can't and wait. This to is watch. the last time you're going to see Badger. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Ah! Hey guys, having a nice little Nando's before the cinema. Bye bye. Nando's. Hello guys, we've just come out of seeing Power Rangers. Uh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I, I love Power Rangers anyway, so I loved all the little nods to the original series. As a mediocre fan of Power Rangers, I thought it was a good waste of an afternoon. When I say waste, that's not in a negative effect. It just means it's an alright film to go see if you've got time. And Richard? As someone who doesn't like right, Power Rangers. Well, uh, it was entertaining, and I'm not giving you my media view. Good idea. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of a spoiler review later um, on this channel as well, you know, like we did with uh, Resident Evil. Oh. We're doing another spoilish episode for you about Power Rangers. So. And do remember that when Kevin first left Batman vs Superman and the Superman movie, he thought they were great until 20 minutes after. Lies. No, I did for the original Superman. I was like, oh, it's good. Wait a minute. Wait, Wait a minute. Ahead. Whereas this one, I still do like it. And I'm, well, I'll stick by that. So. See you guys later on, and if I have done a review ish, there'll be a link just up here. So, bye guys. Hey, everybody, it's Monday morning. Uh, sorry about the abrupt end to Sunday. Uh, when we got back from the cinema, Richard wasn't feeling so well, and I had to go to bed. And I started not feeling so well either. I think something, I think maybe the Nandos didn't agree with me, so not very nice. But today, um, my plans for today have completely changed. I was originally going to go up to see my dad, but um, that's going to happen Thursday instead because he's busy all day today. Uh, Richard has had to go back down to Sheffield <laughs> for the day to pick up some letters that he needed uh, to sort out something uh, while he was up here. So he's had to rush down there, then come back up again. He's had to go see his mum as well, so... Uh, I think it'll be yeah, uh, his parents will be happy to see him since he's been away for a while. I am at a loss of what to do today now. I feel kinda down, kind of lost on what I need to do. And basically my brain is just is going here, there and everywhere as usual. I I I need more stability in my life at the moment. Things are changing constantly. I'm trying to st stabilize my life as much as I can by um, sorting out like my budget of how much is going on bills and when it's going out. Um, kind of sorting out times of the day I have to do my exercises for my back, when I have to take my medication, stuff like that. I just need... I need something structural at the moment, as my brain is just, it's wondering a lot. Um, I mentioned last week, sorry, I've got really nervous. I mentioned last week, last week, that I have a project that I wasn't going to talk about for a while, but I might as well. Um, the D&D game that I'm running uh, is an is in a kind of a world that I've created, and it has different rules to what the core book of D and D, uh, pardon me, runs on. Pardon me. 
So uh, the project that I'm going to be doing is I'm writing up my own world. I'm going to be writing a player's handbook for the world I've created, for what's in each city, um, the different classes, the different gods, the different magics, the history, stuff like that. Uh, me and Richard are going to sit down and actually uh, write all this up since when I created this game in the first place for the guys to play it was a, a way for me to channel some creativity because with the whole problem with my back and my leg um, I've not been able to have something to channel my creativity through because I've not been able to dance so I created this uh, to be able to channel some things and I made the framework of this world and my players have kind of been filling in gaps for me, um, fleshing it out a bit. So I thought I'd start writing it up. And it's helpful that um, every game Andrew uh, writes down like a little story of what happened in the last game. So I can use some of that as well if I ever want to create a storybook to the world as well. So, so I, I'm enjoying that. I've been doing a bit of writing. So every time I've been saying I've been doing some writing, it's either for the game or for this uh, project. So, yay. Um, as for my leg and back, I don't think I've actually explained what the physiotherapist has actually said is wrong with it. I don't know. Um, basically, the my last the, between my last vertebrae and the end of my spine, something's slightly out of alignment and he's inflamed and he's pushing on my sciatic nerve. So it's confirmed I have sciatica. <clears throat> I already knew that. But now it's confirmed that it's it's not technically a slip disc. It's just slightly out of And my camera decided to stop working. Yeah, the exercise I have is to try to put it back in to where it's meant to be. I don't and Yeah, by train of thought is now gone. I don't know why my camera did that. It just went, oh, you've used enough time. It's never done that before. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go before it does that again. Uh, I shall see you guys later. I hope you've had a wonderful Monday. <laughs> I know it's Monday and everything. Everybody hates Mondays. Uh, so, bye. <laughs>
but I think because I'm not dancing at the moment, because of the pain, I'm not really being active. I'm losing my coping me mechanisms, and I need to deal with that. And yesterday was rough. Today has been rough. Today I've been about 20% better. Uh, I'd say I'm on 5 on that scale right now, so I'm not not good, not bad. So, thankfully I've had Richard here to look after me and talk to me. So, and I know my friends who watch this, um, you'll most likely try to message me or talk to me and say, I hope you're okay. I am okay. I'm going... I'm not okay, but I'm going to be okay. I'm not gonna lie. It was a bad day. And for all those who are going to say, well, you could have called me up and talked to me. When you're in those moments like that, you don't want to contact anyone. You don't want to talk to anybody because you feel worthless. You feel like you don't belong, so why bother? So that's why I didn't contact any of you. <laughs> so yeah, that's that was my day yesterday and today. So uh, tomorrow, however, is going to be a fun day because we've got the guys coming over for D and D. So I always love it when they guys those guys come over because they cheer me up. So. He goes to D and D, shall we? Bye. As I start running, yep, I'm going to use a bonus action. Well, I'm going to pick up three stones. Bonus action, magic stone. Okay, so move your guy away. So, uh, you can go. Right. Oh, weird thing. Yeah, I got 15, 20, 20, 25. Okay, so. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Thursday and I'm back here in Huddersfield today. Um, I'm off to go see my dad. Uh, we need to have a nice uh, father-son talk and get things sorted out in our lives and then going back home. I had another doctor's appointment today so uh, that's why I haven't recorded most of the day. Oh, and it's not that sunny today, it's kind of, kind of, bit kind of cold so it is. So let's see how it goes with Dad then today. Hey guys, it's Friday and I actually haven't filmed today at all. The reason behind that is because of everything that happened this week, uh, especially with Monday, the way I was feeling, I needed a day to reflect and to just mong out and do nothing. Which is all I've done today, so I've just sat down on my computer and played games and watched a couple of episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer because I used to love that show, I still do actually. Uh, and catch up on some other stuff. And let my brain just chill for a short while. Uh, I know there wasn't a Badger's Life that came out on the Wednesday or even the Thursday of last week. Because in you know, the last couple of weeks I've always been bright on a Thursday because I keep forgetting. But this week I'd hadn't, my brain hasn't even been in any sort of state to do the editing for that. So I hope you guys don't mind it coming out with this week. So that you get two videos this week. So... I hope you guys didn't like didn't mind that. I'd, I know you'd all you'll all be sympathetic and say yeah it's it's fine. You need to sort yourself out. So yeah. <sighs> um, if I haven't shown you guys already, which I can't remember if I haven't because of my brain, these are my brand new glasses. So I'm, some the nice little silver edge here. They're actually made of. They don't feel like metal, they feel like plastic, so... And now some brand new glasses, they're still reflective, so you can 
see me in there. So, uh, ooh, it's kind of weird. I've also got some sunglasses versions of these as well. So, I can't remember if I've shown you or not. If I have, sorry for repeating myself. <laughs> uh, I know the uh, Wednesday. I I just showed you some of the. Uh, D and D game, just little bits of it, and Thursday I was saying like, oh, coming back from my dad's, but that was it. So hopefully I have some content for you tomorrow, and I actually do something. So <laughs> until then, sleep tight. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Saturday, and we're at IKEA at the moment. I'm just about to enjoy some nice meatballs. I love the IKEA meatballs. Richard just got to go get his drink, he's got the same meatballs as well. We've got a nice little cheesecake over there. So, can't wait. Hey guys, so we're back from Leeds. Uh, we had the dinner at Ikea like you saw, and then we went around Leeds just to have a look around. And we found a shop called Candy Hero, who were closing down. And they got a big box for £9, or 2 for 15 which was what we did. And there was about £30 worth in each box. And we got all of this. And it's an American candy store. Let's not forget that bit. Yeah, it's an American candy. So we've got some American stuff like... We've got some Pop-Tarts. We've got some Dots. Baby uh, Ruth Baby Bar. Ruth Bar. Uh, also we've got Runts. Strawberry Fields Tic Tacs. Yeah. Uh, American Mix Skittles. The American Cadbury fudge, which does not taste like fudge. Yeah, so I might do a little taste test video later on. Probably just going to taste exactly the same as English stuff, but maybe. <laughs> oh, got Hershey's chocolate. Ah, Kevin. Yes, Jim. Don't forget that the Snickers is the American uh, chocolate. Yeah. Not the English chocolate. It's going to taste very different. Yep. And these guys are online, and I recommend that you look them up online and pay and um, pay them money for chocolate. They're not sponsoring me to do this. Yeah, I was about to say this is not a sponsored video. So, but if they want to sponsor me, yeah, if you if you want to sponsor me, give me another box, and I'll do a, an unboxing and a test test. Bye.